Yeah, it's a breakfast club, bitches. Who's donkey of the day today? Yeah, I got those braces taken off yesterday, so my mouth should work right today. Oh, okay? Donkey of the day for Tuesday, March 29th, goes to 45-year-old Maggie Welling and 35-year-old Robert Van Teen of Lincoln, Nebraska. Hold up. What? Is that that nigga? Is this the illest nigga in Nebraska? Fool, play that clip, Brad. Let me hear that one time. Is that that nigga? Ooh. Is this the illest nigga in Nebraska? <laughs> If you don't know what line that movie from, then you ain't black. Now, some of y'all in life are just destined for jail. Okay, it is what it is. Some of y'all out here living the way you want to live, doing what you want to do, thinking there is no consequences to your criminal actions, and God be having a plan for y'all to sit your ass down, even if you don't think it's divine. It's probably not, because you are submitting your will to the devil by making poor choices. Either way, it's a choice. All right. Kanye West once said slavery was a choice. That's a damn lie. But being a convict usually is because you make these choices that, you know, can lead you to jail. And Maggie and Robert absolutely made choices that led them to jail. Now, I think these choices should have led them to rehab potentially based on the situation. But that's not the way our criminal justice system is set up. Now, Maggie and Robert either clearly like to have a good time or they are drug dealers. Okay, either Maggie and Robert are getting high or they getting money. Now, I want to talk to all the drug users and all the drug dealers who listen to The Breakfast Club every morning. Matter of fact, honk your horn if you sell drugs. Flash your lights if you use them. (laughs) You stupid, man. If you are driving and you are in your car and you have 247.3 grams of meth, if you have 171 prescription pills... 5.3 grams of shrooms and two glass pipes. How would you drive? Envy, how do you think you would drive? How cautious would you drive if you had all that on you? Very safely. Steering wheel, 10 and 2, seatbelt on. The only thing that could make you drive safer is if you had a gun in the car and a dead white woman in the trunk. Okay? Depending on what race you are. All right? Either way, there is no way you should be driving erratically speeding on anything when you're riding that dirty. When you're riding that dirty, you have to make sure... You are driving clean, okay? License up to date, registration, insurance, everything, because you want to avoid the police. But like I told y'all, some of y'all is just destined for jail. Some of y'all are on a collision course with the prison system, and that's what happened to Maggie and Robert, literally, because they were driving in Nebraska at 2.25 a.m., and according to Lincoln police, these fools, with all these drugs in the car, Ran a red light. This is what Sincere was trying to tell Buns and Belly. Did you not see that red light? Listen, let me hear that one, Red. Oh, f***ing cops can't touch me. I'm out here smoking weed, speeding, all that, dog. F*** that. That's me. Untouchable. That's right. I'm out here smoking weed, speeding, all that, dog. F that. That's me. Untouchable. Well, guess what? Sincere and Buns didn't get touched in that moment, but Maggie and Robert did. All right, they ran the red light and their vehicle crashed into a police car. Did you hear me? Mm -mm -mm. They ran the red light and their vehicle crashed into a police car that was heading northbound. And during the car wreck, traffic stop, the officer observed a glass pipe. Not the kind the Biden administration was giving out, all right? These aren't the safe smoking supply kits. These were the actual crack pipes. It was on the floor in plain sight. And then officers conducted a search and found all the dope I mentioned before. Therefore, they earned this. Okay, Welling was arrested for possession with intent to deliver five counts of possession of a controlled substance. Van Teen was arrested for possession with intent to deliver five counts of possession of a controlled substance. Both of them were cited <laughs> and released for possession of drug paraphernalia. Uh, they earned all those charges, okay? And this is what happens when you are indeed two of the craziest vanilla niggas in Nebraska. Please give Maggie Welling and Robert Van Teen of Lincoln, Nebraska, the biggest hee-haw. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. What does cited and release mean? Cited, you got a ticket, and then released. For all that drugs? I don't know. Let me, yeah, let, me damn. let me double check that. Cited usually means a ticket. Damn. Well, all right, Robert well, includes bombs for vanilla niggas in Nebraska. They're using that privilege to their advantage. Yeah. God damn it. Cited, you got a citation, and then released. Lord, have mercy. Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.